I'm Dick Clark, and this is a Challenger sneak preview. This is a business consultant, Doak Ferry. This is a computer consultant, Betsy Spicer. This is an attorney and certified public accountant, John Hawker. And today, one of our three contestants will face the ultimate challenge for a cash jackpot worth $50,000. These are the Challengers. The Challengers, where today you'll witness a battle of knowledge and strategy that'll pay off in thousands of dollars. And now, your master of the challenge, Dick Clark. Thank you, Don Morrow. And welcome to our special preview show here on The Challengers. We welcome our players, Doak, Betsy, and John. And the winner of today's special game will have a shot at our ultimate challenge, which will be worth $50,000. <laughs> a lot of money at stake, folks. And in just a moment, we'll reveal the categories for our first half of play. First of all, we'll play the Challenger Sprint Round for control of the game. Let me explain how it works. I'm going to set the clock for 60 seconds. Then I'm going to fire questions at you just as fast as I can say them, and you can answer them. We'll give you $100 for every correct answer. We will take away $100 if you're wrong. The player with the most money when time runs out will have the first selection from the category board. And for each of you, we've opened your own personal Citibank Visa account. Every dollar you earn in the game will be deposited to your account. And the money and the benefits that go with your account are yours to keep. Now, if you're all set and ready to play, we will set the timer for one minute. Okay, step up to the challenge. First question coming up. Name the town in the state of Maine where George Bush greeted King John. Kennebunkport. That's right. If you went to the movies tonight to see Tom Cruise's latest film, what joke? Days of Thunder. Right. The IRS just sent a tax bill for nearly $7 billion to the nation's largest oil company. Name the company. John. Exxon. Yes, a Minnesota restaurant called the Tour de France was just opened by what bicycle racing champion? John? Oh. Sorry, time's up. Didn't get in there in time. This South American country's beleaguered new president is Alberto Fujimori. Yes, John. Colombia. No, wrong. Betsy. Peru. Peru is right. Name the new sport where participants lash themselves to long elastic ropes and dive over the sides of Doak. Base jumping. No, sir. Anybody else? Bungee jumping. What Nobel Prize winning author was recently offered back his Soviet citizenship? Betsy. Solzhenitsyn. Yes. The three hosts of NBC's Today Show are Deborah Norville, Brian Gumbel, and who? John. Joe Garagiola. Yes. Name the Alabama Country Club that hosted this year's controversial PGA Championship. John. Show Creek. Yes. A baby boy. I'll finish it. A baby boy was just born to its singer Patty Schialfa. Name the father. Doak. Bruce Springsteen. That is correct. All right. Uh, before we go any further, folks, back on the question on the Tour de France restaurant and Greg LeMond, uh, I inadvertently did not give you a chance, Doak, to answer that. The time ran out on John. I should have given you an opportunity. It's a little late to reconstruct that question. I'll give you another question. If you get it correctly, we'll have a three-way tie, and then we'll go to something else to break it. If not, I'll give Betsy a shot at it. That'll break the tie, and we'll have an opportunity to go give somebody control of the game. Name the quarterback who just became the highest paid player in the history of professional football. Joe Montana. All right, we've got ourselves a three-way tie. Hands on buzzers, folks, to break that tie. In what state will you find the U.S. Gold Depository of Fort John? Kentucky. Kentucky is right. You've taken control of the game. You've got $300 there. We're all set to play our first half, and this is the way it goes. You'll be out maneuvering and out guessing each other for the right to answer questions that'll appear on our video wall. We'll play two halves, and then we'll move to our final challenge round, where we will determine today's winner, and you're certainly ready to go, so I'm going to get you right over there now. Look at the categories for the first half of play, and they are those Foxy Simpsons, Pearl Bailey, Notorious Hungarians, Movies Now Playing, just desserts. Tora, Tora, Tori. And John, you have control of the game, so select your category. I'll take Tora, Tora, Tori. All right, sir. The first question, valued at $150, is Tora for $200. Tora again. And a Tori for $250. The higher the value of the question, the more difficult it is. Right now, if you will, look to your personal electronic keypad and decide on the question you'd like to answer and secretly lock in your choice now. All right, we've got three-way across the board, everybody going for a different situation. We'll start with you, Doak, for $150. Tora, Tora, Tora were the code words used to launch an infamous attack in World War II. Name the target of that attack. Pearl Harbor. You got it, sir, for $200, Betsy. The first five books of the Old Testament constitute the Jewish Torah. These books are known as the five books of whom? Moses. You are right. For $250, John, during the American Revolution, Tories were the colonists who remained loyal to the king. Give me the king's name and number. 
King George III. All three of you are right. And John, you maintain control of the board. Going back there, which one would you like? I'll take uh, Movies Now Playing. Movies Now Playing. The questions from $150 to uh, $250 deal with. Uh, I hate that one. Die Hard 2 and Presumed Innocent. Uh, arachnophobia. <laughs> took me all week to work on that. Lock in your choice and make your wager. Uh, good. Nobody took it. There we go. <laughs> Do thank you, thank you, thank you. Doak, for $200, look to the video wall and let's roll a clip from the mega hit Die Hard 2. Ding. All right, that's one flight that Bruce Willis hopes he'll miss. Give me the name of the Washington airport where all of that action takes place. Took place at Dulles. You are right, sir. All right, Betsy and John. Step up to the $250 challenge. The hit film, Presumed Innocent, is about a prosecutor who finds himself accused of murder. The movie was based on the best-selling novel by whom? Betsy. Scott Turow. You are right for $250. And Betsy, you've taken over control of the game. Which one of these last four would you like to play? Uh, just Desserts. Just Desserts it is. Here are the questions for $150 on up. Cookies, candies, and cakes. Make your bet. Oh, I thought everybody was going for cakes. John, for cookies, $150. Which spice lends its distinctive flavor to the crisp cookie called a snap? Ginger. You were right, sir. Uh, step up to the $250 challenge, Betsy and Doak. One delicious dessert is made from chocolate, kirsch, whipped cream, and cherries, and shares its name with a wooded... Betsy? Black Forest Cake. A wooded German region? The Black Forest Cake is right. All right, that's it. We'll be back in just a second to play the second half of the game. And when we do, we're going to double the value of all of our questions. Don't go away. There are tastes and smells and feelings that remind me of home, but only one that takes me there. Bob Evans Farm Sausage, the taste that takes you home. My mother and I had our morning routine down to a science. We were partners in a race against time. And somewhere in those hurried moments, we also became friends. Bob Evans Sausage and Biscuits, ready in a minute and a half. The taste that takes you home. taken after their father. Same love of a big breakfast. And until recently, the same cholesterol problem. So now they're eating right and using Mocha Mix non-dairy creamer. Because Mocha Mix is cholesterol free and low in saturated fat. Because it tastes great. And because their mom told them to. Mocha Mix creamer. For 40 years, the original healthier alternative. Sure, Quaker Natural tastes great for breakfast. But I can't always wait till breakfast. Don't wait for the taste of Quaker Natural. It tastes too good for breakfast alone. Swirl it in yogurt, pour it on fruit, top it on top of an ice cream cone. Quaker 100% Natural. How can you wait for all those crunchy clusters of oats and honey, almonds and raisins? I can't. Don't wait for the taste of Quaker Natural. All news and current events questions are verified by Newsweek magazine. And now, back to the Challengers. Thank you, Don. Um, don't... I hear you met your idol. Who's your idol? My boyhood idol was Mickey Mantle. Where'd you and see I, him? I met him at a costume party at the age of 25 mm. with my costume around my ankles. Well, I was, wait I a was minute. changing costume and Mickey Mantle walked oh. in. <laughs> And no, I stuck out my hand and said, hi, I worry. I've always wanted to meet you. A memorable moment yes, for both of you. No doubt. <laughs> now, Betsy, I've heard of actresses. What is a, ha a hactress? Well, a hactress is a lady hacker, a computer programmer, and that's what I do for a living. Nice to have you with us. John, I think I read at the beginning you're an accountant and uh, a lawyer. You've had other jobs, too? 
Right. I've been a military intelligence officer, a sports agent, real estate broker. I'm working in business management now. I, I basically can't hold a job. <laughs> Figure out what you're going to do when you grow up. Huh? <laughs> Betsy, you're in control of this whole thing. We're about ready to uh, start the second half. Doke, you, you've got 550, Betsy at 900, and John at 700. We've got six new categories, and we'll double the value of all of the questions. Here are the categories you're going to be playing with, and they are, first off, how do you like Madonna? Problem solvers? 1990 Emmy nominations, La Belle France, Faces in the News, and Memorable Eruptions. All right, uh, Betsy, I don't know where you're going to go. I don't want that choice myself. What would you like? <laughs> I think I'll try Problem Solvers. Problem Solvers it is. All right. For $300, the first question is methodolo Mythological Messes, Criminal Capers for 400 and Radioactive Riddles for 500 Remember, the higher the dollar value, the tougher the question. Please select one and place your wager. All right, two of you going for the $500 tough question. John, we're going to give you criminal capers for $400. Sherlock Holmes always solved the crime, and the man who often committed the crime was Holmes' arch enemy. Name him. Professor Moriarty. You got him for $400. Doke and Betsy, step up to the challenge now for $500. Radioactive riddles. The date was 1942, the place Los Alamos. The problem was how to make an atomic... I didn't finish. I hope you got the answer, Betsy. The Manhattan Project? No, ma'am. I will finish the question, Doke. You'll have an opportunity to answer it if you want or pass it if you don't. The problem was how to make an atomic bomb. Name the scientist in charge. Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer is right. You pick up $500. Doke, you've got several choices over there. Anything you like? I'll take, how do you like Madonna? All right, man after my own heart. Wonder why. All right, for $300, like a prayer, like a virgin, or like a villain. <laughs> you got it. Madonna, folks, place your wager. All right, everybody going for... No, no, I'm sorry, two of you going for the villain question. We'll get to that in a second, Betsy. Like a virgin. The song, Like a Virgin, catapulted Madonna into the public eye and led to her first starring role in a major motion picture. Name it. Um... Desperately Seeking Susan. You got it. I, I was afraid you are going to fump it there. You picked up $400. Gentlemen, step up to the uh, $500 challenge. Madonna played the villainous, breathless Mahoney in this summer's hit movie, Dick Tracy. Name the artist who created it. John. Chester Gould. Chester Gould was the cartoonist, the artist, and you pick it up. John, which one of these do you want to go with? Uh, Emmy nominations, LaBelle France faces the news of memorable eruptions. Uh, memorable eruptions. All right, sir. Here we are. I'm anxious to see what this is. Mount St. Helens for 300, Vesuvius for four, and Krakatoa for 500. Select the one you want to play and make your bet. Three-way race going here. Uh -oh. All right. Everybody in it for Vesuvius. That means we uh, have a three-way race and immediately double the value of the question. Everybody can go for this. Whoever answers correctly will have a chance to answer the remaining two questions for a sweeps total here of $2,400. At this point, for $800, Vesuvius. The eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD actually destroyed the... John, I didn't finish. I hope you got it. Herculaneum. No, sir. Stand by. I will finish the question. Betsy and Doak destroyed three Roman cities. Name the largest of the three. Betsy. Pompeii. Pompeii was right, and the other was Stabia. All right, uh, there you go. That's the only problem with jumping in a little early. You were uh, psyching me out there. You thought you had it, and it was wrong. All right, there are two questions remaining. You can elect to answer them one at a time. If you're right, you get the money. If you're wrong, you lose the, uh, the money. We've got uh, a couple of them left. Betsy, do you want to continue? Yes, I'll take Mount St. Helens. All right, for $600, experts say Mount St. Helens will remain active for many years. In what state will you find Mount St. Helens? Uh, Washington. Washington's right. Do you want to go for the other one? If you're wrong, you lose the money. If you're right, you add $1,000. I'll pass. All right, Betsy, you've passed. You have $2,200. You've got control of the game. What'll it be? Emmy nominations? Faces in the news. Oh, I was going to read them all, but you've got faces in the news, ranging from three to $500. There's the first face, the second face, and the third face. Select the one you want to wager on right now. All right, we've got two of you going for the $500 face, and Doke will start with you for $400. Look to the video wall. If you recognize this face in the news, tell me the title of the Spike Lee movie he's starring in. Mo Better Blues. That's right, that's Denzel Washington, and you picked up $400. <laughs>
Betsy and John for $500. Look to the video wall, and if you recognize this face in the news, tell me the name of the political party. John, you buzzed in? African National Congress. It is indeed. That's Nelson Mandela, the African National Congress leader. And that's what it tells us we're about to move into our final challenge of the day. In this round, you'll be able to wager any or all of your monies in your account on one final question of your choice. Now, the player making the highest wager will get to answer that question. And if you're ready, here is your final challenge of the day. It is Crisis the Middle East. And... We're now going to post odds on the questions, and the higher the odds, the more difficult the question will be. Here are the questions. The first question is about the Iraqi invasion at even odds on your wager. The Arab reaction will pay double the money on your wager for that one and triple the money on the oil connection. Right this minute, you have 15 seconds to select your question and make your final wager of the day. A little reminder here. Remember, you're betting with your own money. So wager carefully. The challenge is yours. All of our players' choices have been locked in, and we'll start with you, John. You have $1,300 in your account now. Please declare. I went for the oil connection for $1,300. Well, you bet the whole deal at triple the odds. Woo! Doak, you have $1,450. How'd you play it? I chose the oil connection for $1,400. Oh, we got some really heavy rollers here. Betsy, $2,200 in the account. What are you going to do? I chose the Arab reaction for $1,005. All right, look what's going to happen here. Betsy, you're going to go for double the odds on the question regarding the Arab reaction, and Doke, you outbid John with a $1,400 bid for the uh, triple question there on the oil connection. So we'll be back with Doke and Betsy right after this. Don't you dare go away. <laughs> I've been overweight so long that I just felt like I was destined to be fat. And now, look at me. I can wear things that are tied around my waist and big prints, and I'll even show my legs. What I've learned from Jenny Craig is moderation. Anyone can lose weight, but the key is to learn how to keep it off, and that's what the lifestyle classes do. There's just something I'd like to say to all the people that have teased me when I was a kid. Nah, 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 nah. I'm on TV and you're not. <laughs> Final weeks of our summer special. Lose all the weight you want for only a $79 service fee. Final weeks, call now. The son of a Lutheran minister. Some people think he's a Superman, but when a 43-year-old has to throw 75 fastballs, even Nolan Ryan's muscles can ache. So after the game, it's the medicine doctors recommend most for sprains and strains, Advil. For me, it's a couple of Advil, and those muscle aches are long gone. And Advil's gentler on my stomach than aspirin. Today, it isn't aspirin or Tylenol. It's Advil. I feel ready to go another nine innings. Advil. Tablets and caplets. Advanced medicine for pain. Back to the final challenge. And here's your host, Dick Clark. All right, we are set to play the final challenge. I'd like to point out that the money our players accumulate in their accounts will have a very special value. And Don, if you will, please tell us about it. Well, Dick, all of today's players receive their winnings in a Citibank Visa account. They get the distinct benefits and exclusive service that only Citibank provides. All right, thank you, Don, very much. Remember, players, you can do anything you want with the money in your account, including converting it into cash. Today's champion will move on to play our special ultimate challenge and get a chance at our cash jackpot of $50,000. Good luck to all of you. Now, let's do a little recapping here. Betsy, you got $2,200 in your account. You uh, gambled $1,005 at double odds on the Arab reaction. If you come out correctly, you'll win $4,210 or $1,195. That would put you behind John. So, John, you're still in the race. Betsy, Iraq's beleaguered president, Saddam Hussein, made a surprise peace offering to his old and bitter enemy, Iran. He even went so far as to address Iran's president, his dear brother, for $4,210. Name Iran's president. Oh. Hashimi Rafsanjani is the man's name. You have $1,195 in your account. Now, Doak, you uh, went for the $1,400, really rolled the dice there for triple, and if you come out on top, it'll be $5,650. 
and an opportunity to go for $50,000. In the wake of Iraq's invasion of Kuwait, some member nations of OPEC have increased production of oil to offset shortages caused by the crisis for $5,650 and that chance at the $50,000. What is the full name of the organization known as OPEC? It is the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries. Doak, you are right. Congratulations. $5,650. Betsy, you've got $1,195. John, $1,300. Thank you both very much. In just a moment, you'll be facing the ultimate challenge and a chance, Doak, to add $50,000 to your account. Let's do it. Introducing new Edie's American Dream. It's deliciously smooth and creamy, but it's cholesterol-free. It's 99% fat-free, and it's made with pure, fresh ingredients. Best of all, it tastes like Edie's. So now you can have just what you've always wanted. More. We call it new Edie's American Dream, but you can just ask for more. It's not easy getting the great taste of pineapple grapefruit juice, unless you get Tropicana. Fortunately, we also make orange strawberry banana juice and orange pineapple juice. Tropicana. We've got a whole lot of reasons why you just can't pick a better juice. Now, isn't life simple? Bonus Card Plus from Blockbuster Video. Rent 11 videos, get the 12th video free, and enter to win a Corvette convertible. Get started with internal affairs from Paramount Home Video. Richard Gere. I'll take care of things, don't worry about it. Andy Garcia. He's a dirty cop. You testify against Dennis Peck, we'll grant you immunity. Did he contact you? Internal Affairs. Rated R from Paramount Home Video. Blockbuster Video. What a difference! If you'd like to become a contestant, please call area code 818-562-1620. The factory said go. Your Dodge dealer's factory authorized clearance is on. We're clearing out our inventory to make room for the 91 models, so now's the time to move. Plus, we've got big cashback savings on nearly every Dodge car in stock or choose low, low financing on select models. Plus, lots of caravans priced to move. Don't wait. Bring your title and be ready to trade. For the Dodge factory authorized clearance and great deals, it's Advantage Dodge. Even around here, when folks started worrying about cholesterol, breakfast got kind of lean. But now the rich, hearty breakfast is back. Folks are pouring on a fresh, creamy taste with no cholesterol. Now there's farm-rich, non-dairy breakfast creamer. Farm-rich tastes fantastic on flakes, beautiful on berries. Creamy in coffee with no cholesterol. Farm-rich, non-dairy breakfast creamer. A fresh, creamy taste with no cholesterol. Back now, it's time for the $50,000 Ultimate Challenge. You ready? I'm ready. If you will, sir, the first step is to turn to the video wall. Take a look at that. And there are two categories up there. The first one of which is cities of the world and the human body. They both came up at the same time. Which one do you wish to challenge? I'll take the human body, please. The human body, if you'll turn this way, sir, again toward me. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll give you a little rundown of what's going to happen. We have questions that are involved here. The first one uh, is involved with... The human body is the subject material, and the first question is regarding the heart. Second question, the head. Third question, the hand. I'm going to ask you three questions. Each correct answer is worth $1,000. If you get all three, it's $50,000. You'll have five seconds in which to answer. I'll call for that answer. I'd like to ask the audience, please, to don't talk. Don't say anything. Let them in. I'll have all of the concentration you can. Are you ready? I'm ready. Have you step out of here? The first question then, the human body, the heart. Blood vessels called arteries carry blood from the heart. Blood vessels called veins carry blood to the heart. 
What blood vessels, the smallest in the human body, connect those arteries and veins? Hold for a moment. You have five seconds. Your answer, please. They're called capillaries. You are right, sir. You picked up $1,000 on your way to $50,000. The second question on the head. A pea-sized endocrine gland located at the base of the brain produces the hormones which control and regulate other endocrine organs. Name that gland. You have five seconds. May I have your answer? It's called the pineal gland. No, sir. It is called the pituitary gland. Now, it's not over yet. You can pick up another $1,000. I'm sorry that's incorrect, but this one could be worth $1,000. And don't forget, you're going to play again come Monday, so be of good cheer. All right. There are two of these bones in each thumb and three of these bones in each of the other digits. Altogether, they are the bones and the fingers of the human hand. Their anatomical name comes from the Greek word meaning log. What is that word? May I have your answer? They're called phalanges. You are right, sir. You picked up $2,000. Oh, boy, that was a close call. Oh, now, Goat, you'll be the champion on our next show. We'll see you next week. You'll have a couple of brand new challengers then. When you return, you'll continue and play along. If you win three games, you'll be right back in this very same spot. Keep in mind that you've won $7,650 so far. And if you come back here tomorrow, we're adding another $5,000. It, oh, I say tomorrow. I've already forgotten the weekend. It'll be worth $55,000 come Labor Day. So we'll see you then when you have the opportunity. Please join us here on the Challengers Labor Day Monday. We'll see you then for now. Dick Clark, so long. speaking. The Challengers is a Ron Greenberg production in association with Dick Clark Productions. Tonight, the tension mounts. This is the last of our semifinal games. Which of these men will have a crack at a quarter million? Find out on Super Jeopardy, followed by Monopoly. Then, it's bombs away. You were shaking worse than I was. Over China Beach. And... Don't move! It's a special vision. A secret life. A one-armed man. And a two-timing wife. Where else but Twin Peaks? Followed by Eyewitness News at 10. Only on Channel 7.